Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Life and Death number five. So, in this video, we have A, B, C, and D. Go ahead and pause the video and try to solve them. All right, were you able to solve them? Let's go ahead and get started. So, for A, the first thing we want to think about is, of course, capturing the stones. Now it looks like we have two eyes, and if white plays here, we can just live, correct? But what if white plays this nice little Tsuji? If we play this way and just connect, white will capture us. So we've, we're forced to take the stone. And now white can the eye. Therefore, just capturing is not good enough. That's uh, a little too simple. And if you see a simple solution, try looking for a trick. If the solution's too simple, then probably you're missing a Tsuji for your opponent. So make sure and double check before actually thinking that a certain variation is the answer. So the answer is actually here. This seems very, very strange as white can just simply capture us. But the key is after white captures, we have this very nice cut move. Now when we play this cutting move and white tries to play something, you can see we can just capture white. And if white plays this one, we just capture white. Eight of white Atari's, we connect. And if white throw, makes a throw in, we still have an eye at A19. So this cut is the Tsuji and the answer to this problem. All right, let's look at B. So for B, our first instinct is to reduce the eye space. And if white plays, then we can play here and kill white. However, we have to look for white's trick. White's trick is actually to play here. When white plays this move, we have no way to take this eye or this eye. Even if we capture, white is still alive. Therefore, let's try playing our opponent's move as our move. So what happens if we play here first? Well, now if white tries to just make the eye, we can simply take the eye, and this is a dead shape. And if white tries to increase the eye space, we simply play here, and as you can see, this shape is going to be a dead shape. It looks like it might be a Seki. However, because of R16 here, later, we can play this Atari. Therefore, white has to connect if he wants to try to live, and this is now a dead shape. All right, let's take a look at C. For C, the first move some of you may have found, but the follow-up and following variation may have been difficult. So our first instinct for C is to simply reduce. But in this case, it's too many lines in a row, it's definitely a line. And maybe the second instinct is to take the tiger's mouth. However, when white simply connects, this is two eyes. Therefore, our move is actually this wedge. This wedge is the first key move in the sequence. If white simply Atari's under and pushes us out, white's dead. So white must Atari and kill these two black stones. Now if we go down and white simply tries to connect, we can kill these four stones and white's dead. Therefore, white must kill these two black stones. Now, some players may have gotten this far and said, okay, but then what's the follow-up here? This isn't good enough, because once these two stones die, white will have two eyes. Ah, but we have a Tsuji. So the first, thing, the first idea to look at is actually this Atari, but we'll explain why it's wrong in a second. So the Tsuji, the, sorry, the Tsuji is actually this move, and then this is a self-Atari, so white must capture, and then we play this throw-in. This throw-in is a very nice move because if white connects, we can capture. Therefore, white must take here and now we can make it a false eye and white is dead. Now, why is it important to play this side instead of this side? Well, actually, some players may have gotten trip, uh, tricked here. There is a Tsuji, a similar one to the other one. However, it's a little different. If we play this throw-in now, it looks like it's the same and it creates a false eye. However, white simply just connects. Now when we take, it looks like we killed white. Ah, but there's a cut. So this cut would give white the second eye he needs. Therefore, this is actually a mistake, and this is the correct Atari. So, the first move is this wedge, and then the Nobi down. Sacrifice the two stones and play this Atari, and this throw in. This is the full sequence. Some players may have found this problem difficult, 
but it's important to realize that this is a very common shape and a very important shape for you to remember. So go ahead and try and solve it again and try to remember it for future variations. That way you'll never miss, make the mistake of missing this shape ever again. And you'll have a very powerful weapon to kill your opponent should it ever come up in a game. All right, let's look at D. D may be simple for some, but difficult for others. That's because if you can recognize the shape, it's very easy. But if you don't, then it can become very difficult. So here, our first instinct is to capture the white stone. But of course, this isn't good enough. If we try to descend down to stay connected, I will take the eye. So of course, our first move is S1, the one two point. This will give us another eye in the corner. However, what if white takes? Here's the part many people will get tricked at. Now, black tries to connect. Ah, if white connects, then we have two eyes. But white has a very nice throw in here to make it a false eye. And now it's a ko. A ko here is not the solution. Ko is not good enough. We want to live if we can just live. Our move here is actually this empty triangle. This is a very nice move as it makes an eye on the corner and also prevents white from cutting us off. If white tries to cut us off, it's a self -atari. Therefore, white must connect and now we connect and we have two eyes. So this is the move that's the vital point in order to live in the shape. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.